Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do things a little bit different than normal, and that's because uh, the costume community has been challenged by the lovely Kiralee Cosplay, uh, my friend from Down Under. Hi, mate. Uh, <laughs> that's a terrible Australian accent. Anyway, uh, we've all been challenged to do a one day make challenge. Um, I always. Is it a one day make? Yeah, it's a one day make. I always get confused with the Adam Savage. Uh, one day build video, so I've been calling it a one day build, but it's a one day make uh, challenge, which is basically the same. Anyway, um, I have an extra complicated, well it's not a complication, it is uh, an extra challenge. Today it's going to be 32 degrees. Um, I don't know even what that is in Fahrenheit, let me check. So yeah, it's going to be 81 degrees. Um, if, you, if you're new here, uh, my workshop is in the attic and we have uh, like a saddle rooftop and basically that means we have the sun on the roof all day long and it probably gets about 10 degrees Celsius warmer than it is actually outside hence you probably hear my air conditioning running I have to keep it running otherwise um, I will literally melt here anyway back to the topic um, to the one day build uh, I mean one they make. <laughs> uh, I'll be making my first history bounding item which will be a uh, walking skirt from the keystone system thingy. Um, it's gonna be made out of linen so it's actually actually my well not technically yeah. Yeah my first linen uh, garment. I've made some for my graduation collection but that wasn't actually made for me but I've worked with linen before. Um, so I'm the reason I don't usually work with linen is I think I'm allergic to it uh, anyway I, when I wear it on my skin it's like it's like burning like I've been rolling into like those 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 poison ivy plants whatever um, but since I've been wearing a petticoat with it uh, I don't think it'll matter much so casing point <sighs> let's do this it's gonna be hot Right, so update, uh, everything has been cut out and prepared, um, I'm going to switch the yarns on my overlook machine so I can search the uh, side seams and then I think we can start the assemble. Uh, on another note, I want to make a little announcement, um, if you haven't heard of it before, um, Noelle from Costuming Drama is organizing uh, basically with the whole costume community a CocoVid conference basically if uh, it's a it's costume college but then online uh, obviously co uh, costume college has been cancelled this year so we're doing an alternative event but with the basic same idea of lectures workshops classes and just cozy get together but then online uh, I will also participating in this. I will bring out um, my usual video on Thursday, which is when uh, Coco usually starts or Christian College. Um, so that will be part of um, uh, of the event. And I'm also joining in with two panels. One will be hosted by Snappy Dragon, and it will be a, a panel with. Um, 
fellow costumers and we're going to talk about disabilities in costuming um, from making, wearing costumes to going to events, etc. etc. And I will be hosting my own panel here on this channel. Uh, it will be with guest stars Constance McKenzie, Bernadette Banner and Anne from Silk and & Stitches and it will be uh, all about costumes for stage and screen and working in wardrobe. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you come. Um, think of some questions you want to ask us. So let's go change the colors on the serger and um, let's get cracking.
so this is as far as I am right now. Uh, things that are left is the waistband, the seam, and the center back. But it is now half past five, and I think I'm going to do some decoration on the hips where the uh, darts are um, to make it also like pull it a little bit more towards the 1910s. Um, especially with the hem being um, a lot shorter than the, and than, bleh, than the Edwardian <laughs> speaking is hard um, so yeah I'm going to look some um, some fashion place up and see what I come up with and uh, yeah done it is uh, a quarter to midnight um, the only thing that is left is the hem but I want her to um, I want to leave her on the dummy for like 12 hours or so so the the bias is all stretched out and then I can hem level the hemline uh, and I know that all the, the seams have uh, done their thing <laughs> Um, I'm really super happy. Um, I'm really happy with the, the decoration here on, on the hips. I don't know how much you can see about it from here. Um, yeah, the closure, the pleats in the back. Obviously, my dummy like it wraps all almost off her uh, around her waist, but uh, I'm a little bit more stuffed. Um, so yeah. Uh, I can't wait how this looks with the petticoat underneath and um, yeah, so uh, yeah, tomorrow morning I'm gonna do the hem and then um, she's done.